It's story time with Miss Jenny. Well, hi there, my friends. I am so happy to see you. Thank you for coming to join me for another story time with Miss Jenny. This week, some of my friends are studying the letter Z, Z, and talking about things that start with the letter Z, like zoo. So today, I thought it would be fun to bring some stories about animals that we might find in the zoo. And my first story is going to be ABC Animal Jamboree, and it's written by Giles Andrea. A, angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. A, B, boa constrictor. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes then swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. B. C. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. D. Dolphin. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do, as I'd say to you, it's more of a click, whistle, squeak. E. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle just elfing around. F, frog. We may be green and slimy, but I'm sure that you'll agree. We're really great at hopping. Can you hop as high as me? G, giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. H, hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud which hippos like doing a lot. I, iguana. We are both green iguanas. Our bodies are covered with scales. We've also got really cool spines down our backs that run to the ends of our tails. See all their little spines that run to the end? J, jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, while other fish think it's quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. K, kangaroo. I'm the bouncy kangaroo. Pleased to meet you, how do you do? And who's inside my pouch? That's right, it's baby Joey holding tight. L. Lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Rawr. M. Monkey. It's great to be a monkey swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. <gasps> Ooh, yucky. N, narwhal. The narwhal has a horn-like tusk, and so he seems to be the ocean-swimming unicorn, a marvel of the sea. 
Oh, octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Tickle, 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 tickle. P, penguin. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get too close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Q, Quetzal. My tail feathers shimmer in glorious green and look at my splendid red chest. Of all the most beautiful birds that you've seen, you must admit, I am the best. R, rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. S, shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Chomp. T, tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. You, umbrella bird. My head has a crest of black feathers, so when I look up at the sky and see that it's raining, instead of complaining, I just spread them out and keep dry. V, vulture. See me soaring gracefully across the clear blue sky, looking out for tasty treats that catch my beady eye. W. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Wow, also starts with letter W. X, X-ray fish. We like to swim around in shoals and any food will do us. Oh yes, we're called the X-ray fish as you can see right through us. Y, yak. We live up in the mountains where the land is cold and bare. So to keep us warm and cozy, we grow thick, long, shaggy hair. And Z, zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes since they make me look handsome and cool. Isn't that a fun book about some of the animals we see at the zoo? I have another fun book about a different kind of zoo and it's called Wild About Books and it's written by Judy Sierra and the pictures are illustrated by Mark Brown. Wild About Books. It started the summer of 2002 when the Springfield librarian, Molly McGrew, by mistake drove her bookmobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door and she let down the stair, turned on the computer and sat in her chair. At first, all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. By reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat and orcs, a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new something called reading. Orcs. 
Forsaking their niches, their nests, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild, about wonderful books, choosing thin books and fat books and cat in the hat books and new books and true books and leaps of how-to books. Giraffe wanted tall books and crickets craved small books while geckos could only read stick to the wall books. The, the pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Molly filled their requests, always eager to please. She even found waterproof books for the otter who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Raccoons read alone and baboons read in bunches and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. Hyenas shared jokes with the red-bellied snakes and they howled and they hissed till their funny bones ached. A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew began solving mysteries right there at the zoo, such as why were the bandicoots books overdue? Gently, Molly taught lessons in treating books right, for the boa constrictor squeezed Crichter too tight. Baby bunnies mucked up Goodnight Moon with their paws, and giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. And Bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked all the pictures right off the pages. Tasmanian devils found books so exciting that soon they had given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided to be authors too. Pythons wrote with their tails, penguins wrote with their bills, and porcupines wrote with their very own quills. At the new insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haiku. The scorpion gave each a stinging review. This one says, a cannibal twig silently devours a leaf, eating, not eaten. Pretentious. And this one says, roll a ball of dung, any kind of poo will do, baby beetle bed. He says, stinks. This one says, I dig for treasure in enchanted castle, a rotten apple. And he says, boring. And this one says, hiss, 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 Redundant. As the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, he read chapters each night to the Barbary ape. And although the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, she had stories to tell. Imagine the hippo's enormous surprise when her memoir was given the Zulitzer Prize. With so many books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a stork, and a new to build a branch library there at the zoo. Then the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check the books out. We can put them on shelves. And they did and they do up to this very day. Three cheers for the zoobrary. Hip, hip, hooray. When you visit the zoo now, you surely won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find. They are snug in their niches, their nests, and their nooks, going wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. The end. Isn't that a fun book? That's one of my favorite stories. Thank you so much for coming to share with me. And maybe the next time you get to go to the zoo, you might look and see if you see an animal reading a book or two. I hope you have a wonderful day, my friends, and I hope you'll come back to see me next time for Storytime with Miss Jenny. Bye-bye.